What's going on everyone, it's your average consumer and today I have another review for you guys of the Incipio frequency case for the iPhone 5. So let's not waste any time, let's get right into it. Here I have everything included in the packaging laid out. To the left we have the packaging that the case comes in itself then the actual case here, and I must say I'm a huge fan of the design. Also, if you take a close look, you'll notice that the iPhone has a screen protector. The screen protector was also included with this case. Moving on, we have the microfiber cloth that was provided, and it's not that great, but it does the job. And we also have a little kickstand for keeping your phone in landscape orientation. And it doesn't really take much to put this thing together, and can sometimes come quite in handy. This little kickstand is pretty cool and ideal for watching movies during a short break or on a small surface. We've got some Ongbok 2 playing here and as you can see it gives us a pretty good angle for watching some dudes get beat down. Now it's time to take an actual look at the case. As I mentioned before I'm quite a fan of its design. It's pretty slim and doesn't add any real bulk to the iPhone which was a pretty big criteria for me as many cases were just too bulky and took away from the iPhone's slim design. This case also allows the iPhone to lay on a table on its face without fear of scratches due to the raged edges as you saw there. Moving on to the back of the case, you'll see my favorite part. The design reminds me of a honeycomb and I typically don't like designs on my cases, but this one actually looks pretty good in hand. The case of course has a cutout for the camera and flash. It also has this long indent going to the right and I haven't quite figured out what the purpose of this was outside of the design, but there's no harm done in having it there. I found the buttons very easy to press, which was another important factor in picking the right case. You get good feedback when pressing them so you don't have to worry about needing too much pressure. The Mew switch is also easy to access from the cutout and I had no issues using it at all. The power button is also quite easy to press and as you can see here I have no difficulty using it to turn the phone on and off rather quickly. Towards the bottom of the phone we can see the cutout for the 3.5mm headphone jack, lightning connector and speakers. Using the headphone jack and lightning cable is also very easy with these cutouts. As you can see here, I'm using an L-shaped headphone cable with no problem, and moving it around is also easy despite being very close to the case itself, so that's always a bonus. Overall, I'm very happy with Incipio's frequency case. It doesn't offer as much protection as an OtterBox, but it keeps the slim form factor of the iPhone 5. I definitely recommend this case as it will still protect your iPhone from light impact and scratches while still being visually pleasing. And that pretty much wraps up my review of the Incipio frequency case for the iPhone 5. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. This is your average consumer. Until the next one, guys. Peace.